What's good my bros? How the hell y'all doing? I didn't really plan on making a video today and I'm kind of in the middle of doing some cool project for the shop. That's, that's why the workshop is so messy. I was cutting a lot on my table saw and like always I got really frustrated with my vacuum cleaner because the bag in the cleaner gets filled up way too quick and I've decided that I'm not taking any more of this BS and getting this fixed. And so today we are making a vacuum cleaner station with a dust extraction unit or a cyclone. Hopefully this will be a quickie and I'll get it done in just a few hours. I'm gonna use an old bucket I've had lying around. I see other people putting them together like so, but I want to save up as much floor space as I can. So I'm gonna stack them like this. All rightable. So the first thing first, the cut list. Okay, we have two bases. This guy goes here. Ah, the wheels. We are not gonna need those. Ugh. It's gonna go here. My compressor doesn't work anymore, so I have to be using screws to put it together. And I don't like screws since I get the nail gun. Okay, so I actually screwed up the first time I made it too small and the vacuum cleaner didn't fit. So I had to rise this piece up and now it fits beautifully. So the next step will be to add some supports for the bucket here. Now I need to make a big hole here for the bucket to sit in uh, and I still don't have a router so I'm gonna use my jigsaw and this little circle cutting jig uh, to try and cut this uh, circle. It's a quick and dirty way. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, let's see. We have this. We have the vacuum cleaner. The cord goes here. I think it's gonna work out nicely. I need to kick it with sandpaper a bit, but that's later on. So now I need to make an actual cyclone thing. For that, I'm gonna need some PVC pieces. And I found this uh, kind of soft pipe thing that fits into the PVC perfectly. 
so I'm gonna use that as well. I'll have this 45 PVC piece coming out from the character, like so. Then I'm gonna have two 90s sitting like this. And then I'm gonna have this pipe coming from here to here. And then I'm gonna have another uh, 45. And that's where I will be connecting my vacuum cleaner hose. Yeah. First of all, I need to pimp up this slit from the bucket. And for that, I'm gonna use this little cutaway from the top piece here. I just need to make it a little bit smaller. So back to the circle cutting jig. I'm gonna give it a quick bead of silicon to make sure that no air will escape if there is a gap. Yeah, maybe a fat bead. The fit is so good, I can barely twist them with my hands. I don't think I need anything extra to seal it up. It's pretty awesome like this. Ooh. That's what I call a good fit. Okay, looks good. Now I want to try to use those original casters that came with the vacuum cleaner and put them on my little stand. That's how this bad boy looks. Uh, it's kind of neat. We also have this little ring here. It's uh, It holds the bucket in place. Very nice and sturdy. Uh, I had to use a bit of uh, electrical tape to secure this connection here. It was holding on pretty good, but I wanted to be a bit more robust. Uh, and the same here. I've added some, uh, some electrical tape here to to make the better connection here and that's it let's actually try how the cyclone works because i haven't even tried myself uh, as you can see i have quite a bit of sawdust uh, all over my shop Okay, let's actually open up the bucket and see what's inside. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's quite a lot of dust. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. You know, all of the dust uh, from, the, from the table and from the floor is inside the bucket. I can easily dump the bucket out into the trash can. And I think that's gonna be it for today. You thought we were done? <laughs> Pathetic. No good build is done without a fresh Pops Workshop sticker. Get yourself a Pops Workshop sticker pack. Link in a bio. It's a great way to support my builds. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon. And I'll see you next time.